All right, guys, we're back, and today I'm going to show you the best XP in world tier farm you can do. This one mission, rerunning it over and over, is the best thing you can do to level up. It gives you the most XP, and it gives you an absurd amount of world tier XP as well, even though world tier doesn't really matter yet anyway. Um, but this is going to be great for you to be able to boost your XP up to 30 so you can finally start the expedition. So let's go ahead and get into it because this, this, this farm is perfect for XP. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's get into this XP farm here. So the first thing you want to do is head to your map and go to the gate. Okay, go ahead and teleport to the gate. And once you get there, you're going to want to head north. Um, the map is a little hard to really tell where the hell you're going. So once I get over there, I'll show you exactly on the map where it is. Okay, but you're going to want to head ahead and run north over here. All right, to this little, little crevice over here, and you're going to make a right. All right, once you make this right, you're going to see this guy sitting here. His name is The Wanderer. Okay, you're going to go on and talk to him. Now, I already have the mission going right now, so it's not going to give me the ability to talk to him. But go ahead and talk to him, accept the mission, and run through the mission. Now, it's going to be a bunch of ads and then a boss at the end, and the boss is going to give you a big chunk of the XP you get from this, along with the, the, the massive amount of ads that are going to spawn. The mission takes about anywhere, you know, depends, you know, what world tier you're on. You don't even have to do this. You know, to do your world tier could just be for the XP, meaning you can do it on a lower tier and you can just fly through it. Considering it doesn't seem that the XP, um, you get, it doesn't seem like you get more XP for the higher world tier that you're in. It just seems to be the loot and the difficulty. So you can lower it and just fly through them and get a bunch of XP in a short period of time just by replaying this mission. So once you're done with it, you're not going to turn it in or anything. You're just going to teleport back to the camp. Once you get to the camp, you're going to go ahead and run right back north and talk to this guy again. Accept the mission. Do the mission. Come back again. Um, for world tiers, you're going to get about a quarter, if not more, of your bar filled just by doing this. So this is a great world tier farm as well. You'll get a bunch of XP to get you to 30. You know, if you're anything like me, in games like this all i want to do is get to the end game as fast as possible so this is really the quickest way for you to get to end game okay then once you get to the end game you're just going to hit those expeditions you're just going to level them up all the way up to 15 you know they're going to get harder obviously level 15 is level 50 enemies but that's where all the great loot comes from i myself right now are full level 50 i have grinded and grinded and grinded this build is absolutely insane. You can check out my other video. Like I said before, it is absolutely insane. You can see it here, all level 50, all modded out, everything set. You know, this took, you know, it took me a little while. It wouldn't have took me as long as if I knew the things that I just told you. Uh, I would have been here a little while, long, long time ago. Um, there's no reason to just sit and fool around, you know, pre-level 30. You know, you want to just grind it up to 30, get to the expeditions, because the expeditions are the end game. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. This is just one of many more Outriders content to come. Hit that sub button, hit that like button, and I will see you again soon. Peace.